Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am here to bring you another weekly love read. In this reading today, we're gonna to take a look at this person's feelings towards you. We're gonna expose their true feelings. Uh, we're gonna dig around and yeah, bring these feelings to light. Uh, this reading will be specific to all water signs. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, this reading is for you. Um, so if you're tuning into this reading, yeah, this could be for you. Do keep in mind it is a general reading. I always advise just to take this with a grain of salt and leave what doesn't apply. Should you feel that this reading resonates with your current situation, then be sure to let me know. The best way you can do that, guys, is by liking, sharing, and subscribing. But otherwise, let's kickstart with the Modern Witches Tarot, and we will be bringing other decks into this reading. Spirit Angels and Guides, please show us how this person truly feels towards our water signs at this current time. Spirit, Angel, Spirit Angels and Guides, how does this person truly feel? Okay, I feel like their feelings are all over the place. Spirit Angels of Guides, how does this person truly feel towards our water signs at this current time? Please show us how this person truly feels towards Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces at this current time. Okay, first card coming through ooh, is the Page of Cups. Okay, well, they do have a heart. <laughs> uh, everything is fine. It is in the reverse. And we have the Ace of Cups. Mm. This person may be another water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, okay? This person may be younger than you. This person idolizes you. This person is crushing on you. I feel like they have a secret crush or a crush on you here. Um, they like you. I feel that you are very impressionable on this person. You make some kind of impression on this person. I do feel that when you're not around, this person dreams about you and fantasizes about you. And I see them having their head in their, I see them having their head in the clouds when it comes to you. I see this person thinking about, because pages are messengers, but they're only thinking about it at this point. Okay, they're not taking action. The action cards would be the knights. But this person is thinking about showing you how they feel. I also see here because everything is everything is fine is in the reverse okay this is the ten of swords there's two ten of swords cards in this specific deck right it is in the reverse I feel like there's something going on with this person that you might not know about. There's something here that they're dealing with that you do not know about at this point. I feel like this person is trying to keep cool about their feelings for you. <laughs> But I actually don't feel that they can keep these feelings under wraps for too long. It would appear that on the surface they are okay and that they're just feeling cool, calm and collected or they're appearing like they're cool, calm and collected but deep down inside they're not. The page would indicate to me that this person hasn't got control of their emotions. So I, I get a sense here that this person could be losing control of their emotions. We can even see here in the Ace of Cups, the water is spilling over the cup, 
which would indicate, okay, this person's losing control of their feelings and their emotions. They're trying to come across like they're cool as a cucumber, but deep down inside, you know, it's kind of like they want to blurt their feelings out to you. The Ace of Cups tells me here that this could be someone new. This could be someone that you've recently just met. Um, and they're still in the limerence phase of love. They're still in that limerence phase of dating or relating. This person is taken in by your essence. Okay, this is someone who is emotionally excited. You're definitely stirring up some feelings within this person, I feel. If this is someone that you already know, maybe something went down between the both of you, okay? Maybe there was some hurt, there was some deception, there was some betrayal, maybe brought by this person because they were emotionally immature. Here, uh, I feel like this person checks their phone, okay? It's kind of like they're constantly checking their phone, they're waiting to hear from you, um, they're looking at your socials, they're keeping tabs on you. If this is someone who's been distant with you, what you might not know is that they still are observing you from afar. Because they still have feelings for you. It's just that something never really lifted off of the ground here. I feel like this person would like a second chance here with you. If you know who I'm talking about, this person would like a second chance here with you. So let's expand. But yeah, this is someone who is thinking about bringing some kind of love offer your way. I also get a sense that this person feels like they want to pour their heart out to you. I do. Awaiting results. This is someone, this is the seven of pentacles. This is like patience. They are exercising patience. That's how they're coming across to me, like they're cool, calm and collected and they've got all the time in the world. But the opposite is true. I feel like this person is starting to grow impatient. I feel like this person wants to water the connection. They want to nurture the connection. This person is fond of you and they want to nurture those fond feelings. Maybe this person has been patiently waiting for you, but I feel like they're starting to lose patience. Yeah? Okay, we've got the two cards. We've got Healing Begins. Healing begins. I am looking in this card, the heart chakra is lit up. Okay, maybe this person is wanting to reach out to you or to connect to you here because maybe you, they, they love or they are craving your support. You comfort this person in some way and they're craving that. You make this person feel good. 
your energy or your essence is very healing to them. So without you sort of around them, they're in, in a, a state of distress, but it's like they want to be around you because you soothe them. Look at this joy and stability. You emotionally excite this person. I'm getting a sense here that this person wants to, they feel like they want to bring some joy into your life. Maybe they want to make you laugh. Maybe they want to see you happy. But they feel, this person feels that you are a strong, stable support in their life. You bring strength to this person or you bring stability to this person where they kind of maybe lack the stability. They lack emotional stability. You're emotionally strong. Let's see what the Romance Angels Oracle cards have to say. Yeah, I'm like seeing a sun here. So I feel like this person is excited emotionally excited is what i hear emotionally excited you stir up strong feelings within this person stay optimistic about your love life positive thi positive thinking and faith will bring your ro bring you romance i do feel like this person is trying to remain optimistic about a second chance here with you or an opportunity here with you. I feel like this person wants to come forward making some kind of an offer. There's a woman, she's handing over a wreath. So I'm getting that this person is thinking about coming forward with some kind of an offer. Playfulness. Yep. This person wants to send you a message. They want to reach out and they want to be playful with you here. I feel like there's a flirty side coming through this person. Okay, they feel that there's this beautiful flirtatious energy between the both of you and they want to they want to explore that okay they want to see where that flirty side takes them and you now if if the playful side to this connection is lacking then this person wants to reignite that with the ace of cups So if you guys haven't been flirtatious with one another, they're thinking about sending a flirty message, sending a playful message, or sending some kind of a teaser message to get those juices flowing, to get that excitement between the both of you um, stirring. Does that make sense? This person likes being around you because you bring their inner child out. You bring that playful, fun-loving, easygoing side out in them and they like that. So there's your reading guys. I do hope that was insightful and helpful. Don't forget to let me know in the comment section below and until, next, until my next reading, take care.